Now, MWR. Obviously, we the the, the big uh, consp- conspiracy. What do you call that? Well, when you think about the, the situation one? at Richmond, which one? <laughs> the, yeah, the Richmond and, and yeah. The, the team orders and stuff that ultimately led to your suspension. Yeah, I, I'm all, I'm curious ultimately to know if you felt like the suspension was just and fair. But what I want to know is that, like you know your perspective, your vantage point leading up to it. So. Um, I'm actually glad you brought that up. I, I, I've avoided talking about it too much, but, um, there were three or four things going on at the same time that were seemed connected that were not connected. And if they were connected, it would have been a lot cleaner. And, um, I would say the same thing I said to Mike Helton and those guys when I sat down on the means that they were like, tell me what happened at Richmond. I'm like, which part? Okay. Cause you're going to have to talk to each different group because if you listen to the radio and you watch what happened, it wasn't like we all had all this planned out. So I'll tell you exactly what I did. What I did was knowing the situation going into the, the race, watching the points and seeing how everybody was moving, maneuvering around. And I saw things that were going on with one particular company that I thought was really weird. And I mean, I thought there was one driver in the Hendrick group that was acted like he was blown up all day and getting out of the gas at start finish line. I'm like, that's weird. And then you start watching all this stuff and then you see who's up there on the spotter stand and tapping on this guy. And you see, you know, there's all the, all the majors are all sitting up there and like, they're trying to like work out maneuver everything. And you see it it's all year long. And so I'm sitting there and caution came out with however many laps to go. And I'm spotting for Brian Vickers. Now I've got channel two, NASCAR, MRN, Channel One, and a digital radio. <laughs> I'm listening to, I got all these voices in my head, and, and I'm, and, and so everybody's like, oh, you're on the 15 run. I, I, I couldn't get to it if I wanted to. So I'm sitting there. Here's what happened caution comes out. We're sitting there. Leaders come down pit road. There's like six, seven laps to go. And I'm like, we're a lap down, and we take the wave around with Brian Vickers. So right when they're coming to, to get ready to come around the corner, we take the wave around with Brian. And I see Logano is in front of us. And then as soon as I see him coming around, I look up at the scoreboard and it says, Jeff Gordon in by one point, Logano out by one point. And I'm like, well, I need Logano had two wins, and if he has his two wins drops to 11th, he makes, he makes the playoffs and Truex gets knocked out. So I'm like, it's a one point difference. And I'm like, well, how is the 22 in front of us, but behind us on the rundown? Mm. And it all happened while we were waving around. Mm-hmm. And I looked at the scoreboard and I saw what was going on. I'm like, oh, shit. he was two laps down coming to one down. Logano mm-hmm. was. And we were two to one. I'm like, we need to get that lap back. And so I'm like, because I don't know who he's racing. I don't have time to go, oh, I wonder who he's racing this lap. I didn't have time. So we were coming around going into turn one to catch the back of the field. I'm like, Brian, I need you to pit. He's like, what? Yeah. I'm like, I need you to pit. I need you to pit right now. And he was like, F- I-, I don't understand. Well, by this time, the leaders now are going into turn three. You know how the, lead- the green drops in the middle of three and four. And I'm like, gr- green flag, green flag, but I need you to pit. And he's like, I don't understand. Do I have a tire going on? What's going on? And I was just like, I need you to pit right now for a point. And when I said that, it was like the SWAT team. <laughs> was pointed all the red lasers were on my throat my heart my brain and it was brain matter everywhere yeah and so he was like oh okay so then he comes down and and it's just a, it's a mess mm-hmm. and so after the race i'm like and so i was like holy shit, we pulled it off and then i got approached by another owner who came over and said hey what i you know that just worked didn't it worked really well didn't it? and i looked at him and i'm like what are you talking about and i later found out what they were doing all this shit was going on up there, all maneuvering around that same freaking point. And I knew that I had said it on the radio. And I knew that was bad news. So I hated that not everybody got in trouble. Yeah, just y'all. But I got slaughtered. I got yeah, filleted. Yeah. I got, I watch television. And I'm like, I'm the only guy in the world who's ever done. I'm like, I was pissed. And but the but but Michael and Rob came to me and they were like, "Shut up, just shut up, mm. you just let it go," and and it was hard for me because it it was it was a, there was a lot and it was personal attacks and it was, I mean it was 
professional attacks and personal attacks, and I'm watching Ryan McGee going, Marty Smith sitting there like, Ty Norris never work in this garage again. He'll never be around this garage again. And I'm like, you have no freaking idea what all was going on. And, and I thought when some of the other tapes came out, I'm like, ah, oh, see, everybody's going to get in trouble. I was the only one. So I'm going to tell you this. I applauded as mad as I was and as still mad as I am about it for a company. NASCAR had to do something. It was out of control. And I'm, I'm, people, I watch people during the season pay for, with tires for a guy to come off the racetrack because their guy had trouble. Go, pit, 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 pit. Now, I'm going to give you, you know, give you tires. And, like, there was so much conversation going on about what they could do for each other. It had to end. As mad as I was that I was the poster boy for it, you know, it, it, it had to end. I was more mad that they gave Jeff the, uh, the, the spot. spot. Like, they literally <laughs> – Made a spot. Made a spot for a guy in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, what in the hell are we doing? This yeah. is like not the way to clean this up. It's like making this whole problem yeah. worse. Yeah, it definitely it, like they didn't know what to do, yeah. right? And so what I was I knew they were gonna come down hard on me. And I knew that others weren't gonna come be gonna come down as hard on them because they need drivers, right? They need teams. They don't really necessarily need guys like me. And so I have never felt the cold shoulder of the entire industry like I did. And I wanted, I never wanted to walk in that garage again. I never wanted to be around again. I got really bitter and I'm like, I'll just, I'll go work in another sport. I'll go, I'll go dig a ditch. I'll go, I'll go be a sport trader. I don't give a what I do, but I'm never doing it. And because I, I wanted to, I wanted to come out and just my back to my point. They were mean to me. I'm gonna be meaner to you. You can bet you got, you got me. I mean, wait till what I come out with. And, and i I finally got myself zenned out, and I just said, <laughs> "Have you?" Because treat I, this with respect. Yeah, treat it with respect. Um, I made a mistake. Stand up. You, you, I, I, I said it out loud. Take it and take it in the jaw and keep on moving. And there are a lot of people at NASCAR, including Mr. Fran, Jim France, who pulled me off to the side at the banquet, and he said, "Son, you're going to be okay. Just move on past it." Uh, and if I if I didn't have conversations like that, I probably would. You know, I don't know that I'd been back. Life is best lived in motion. And that's why Tire Pros gets you ready for all your driving adventures. Whether it's along corners and curves, across city and state lines. Because we're more than just tires. We're auto care too. Tire Pros, so you can focus on the road ahead. 